Hello everybody, I'm Glenda 2024 Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak slash unlock your iPhone 2G or 3G or iPod Touch 1st uh, generation or 2nd generation or something like that. Um, so I have my locked iPhone 2G right here. As you can see it is the iPhone 2G. If you can see that iPhone 8GB 2G. Um, so this will work for uh, the iOS. Um, this will work for firmware 3.1.3 and 3.1.2 I'm pretty sure and definitely know it works for 3.1.3 because that's what I have but I'm pretty sure it'll work for 3.1.2 also so first we're going to do is plug in either your locked or unlocked iPhone um, or iPod touch into your computer I'm using a Mac right now so um, you can see that it wants to activate on like I would have to go through AT&T and activate but it won't let me because I don't have an, an AT&T account so I'm just going to close iTunes. Now if you're already unlocked and you just want to jailbreak, this will not erase your data. Red Snow does not erase your data, which is a good thing. But if, um, you're, un but if you're locked, then it really doesn't matter because you have no data. <laughs> okay, so if you can see that, we have um, all the IPSWs and stuff like that um, for my iPhone. I have boot logos, recovery logos, and the red snow, and all that stuff. Um, so I will have the links in the description as to where you can find all the iPhone IPSWs and iPod Touch IPSWs. Um, I will also have a link to where to find the red snow, um, and where to find these, because for the iPhones you need that. For the iPod Touches you will not need those. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to open up red snow. And again, let me just show you that my iPhone is in recovery mode, or it's not even in recovery mode, it's in, it's just locked, I can't even use it. Alright, um, I'm going to open up Red Snow. I'm just going to angle the camera a little here. I'm going to zoom out. I am on a Mac, and I will have a link to Red Snow for Windows also in the description. So, I'm going to zoom out a little more. Okay, it's just giving me a bunch of warnings and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to click Browse to find the um, IPSW. Even if you have 3.1.3, you're just going to use 3.1.2 IPSW. As you can see here, I have 3.1.3 also. So um, this is what you're going to do if you have 3.1.3. If you have 3.1.2, you're obviously just going to use 3.1.2 IPSW anyway. So I'm just going to select 3.1.2. There's a lot of numbers that I'm saying. So I'm going to go down and click the open button. I'm going to click open. So now you can see it says processing firmware. Now it says IPSW successfully identified. So now we're pretty much ready to go to jailbreak or unlock your iPhone or iPod Touch. So we're going to continue. Next. Downloading RAM disk. Downloading all the stuff that you need. Patching just going to give that a second. It should be okay. It's just preparing all the jailbreak data. Okay, so now you see that you have the option to install Cydia, which is pretty much what you want to do eventually. If you just want to unlock and no Cydia, you're going to uncheck that, obviously. Just click Unlock. Um, if you're just using an iPod Touch, you want to have the Unlock option, obviously. So I'm going to install Cydia so it's jailbroken. Click Unlock so I can unlock uh, the phone. I'm going to click Custom Boot Logo. You can see that I have my boot logo right there. So there it is right there. So I'm just going to go and click open. So I have everything set up. Got everything selected. I'm just going to click next. Now I have to select my bootloaders. The 3.1, I mean the 3.9 and the 4.6. So I'm going to just select those. 3.9 and the 4.6. I'm pretty sure you only have to do this for the iPhone. You shouldn't have to do this for the iPod Touch. So now I'm going to click Next. Please make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer. It says if it's not off, then plug it into your computer first and then shut it off. When I click Next down here, it is going to put me through the process of putting it in my, uh, my iPod Touch or iPhone in DFU mode. So it's going to initially, it's going to start off right away as soon as I click next. So you got to be ready. 
it will ask you to hold the power button down for three seconds while still holding down the power button you're going to hold the home button down i think for like 10 seconds then after that you're going to let go of the power button but keep holding the home button i think for like another 20 seconds or something like that but we're going to do that now so i'm ready to hold the power button down and go hold the power button down for two sec for three seconds now hold down the home button for 10 seconds i got six seconds left So I'm holding them both down. Okay, now without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 30 seconds. So now I have 24 seconds left. So you're just going to let that time run down. Okay, and it's done. Now you can let go and let it do its thing. So now it's pretty much jailbreaking all by itself, and it's go going through all the stuff that it has to do on the phone, or if I touch whatever case you might have and the computer, so it's bringing all the files and stuff to it. And now we're done with the computer, so the rest of the process takes place on your device. So we're just going to click finish, and we can watch on the device as it boots up. And it's downloading jailbreak data. It should only take a couple minutes, you can see it's downloading all of the um, jailbreak data and it's flashing everything, so it's pretty much in the process of jailbreaking into the root files and all that good stuff. I wouldn't unplug it just so you don't mess with anything, but just let it go around and do its thing now. So it's activating. It's pretty much done. Syncing file systems. You can see it's just about done. It said installing, and now it is rebooting. And you can see there is my boot image. Very nice. So if you can get into the main menu even, it, you know it worked. Oh, there we go. Slide to unlock. Very nice. You can see it's searching. It's not going to find any kind of signal because I'm not with AT&T. So I'm going to open it up. Slide to unlock. You can hear that. It says edit home screen to rearrange and stuff. I always does that after the first boot. And this is how you're going to know if you have jailbreak on your iPod or your iPod Touch or um, your iPhone. Slide it. And now you have Cydia. So I don't know if you can see that, but you do have Cydia right there right there. camera does not really autofocus, but there it is. So now I'm going to show you the firmware. Open up the settings, go to general, about, you can see that. I'm just going to scroll down, where is it? Serial number, carrier, version. A version, if you can see that, is 3.1.3. You can see that it is running 3.1.3. It says I have no network available. I have zero data on here. Um, and it is the 8 gig model. So you can see it has worked. And now we are jailbroken in, into everything. And we have all these sections with all of the stuff that we can download. So it's very nice. And um, I look forward to um, being able to use this again. So um, if you have any questions or comments, um, success stories or fail stories whatever it may be leave a comment down below if you have video response please post it i enjoy seeing those um and subscribe so you can see all of my future videos coming up uh my future um iphone or ipod touch or whatever stuff my app reviews just my own tech videos vlogs all the all the fun stuff that we have on this channel um go ahead and subscribe and um be sure to thumbs up if it worked for you and if not, thumbs up because it works for some people. <laughs> so, um, until next time, guys, I'm going to 2024. Um, follow me on Twitter and all that stuff if you want to know when my next videos are coming out and just see what's going on. Uh, you can do that. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.